welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have to make a birthday gift for a five-year-old that is my pastor's daughter. When I asked mom what she wanted for her birthday, she's like, she's totally into cooking now and that's what she said she wants to do. So get her cooking stuff. And so I did. So let's go see how to make this really cute baking kit for birthday using Mrs. Jones baking product. Today I am building a gift basket, sort of. Now, many of you may not know this, but a very long time ago, I used to own my own gift basket business. And it is my pastor's little girl's birthday, and we've been invited to her party. And when I asked her mom what I could get her for her birthday, she looked at me and she said, she's really into cooking right now and wants to be a, a baker, and she wants to cook everything next to me on the stove, so get her cooking stuff. So I couldn't think of a more appropriate place to use some of these Mrs. Jones Baking Company products than in a really cute little gift basket for a five-year-old girl who's super interested in learning how to bake and cook. She figured it out. Yeah, she figured it out. If she can make it herself, she can enjoy it, right? I thought, well, let, where would we start? I wanted to make it super colorful, I knew that, and I wanted to make it really simple. So this was a really great way to go. So I wanted to make her feel special, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I did put a, uh, a spending cap on this of about $20, and we went to the dollar store, and we went to Walmart, and we got the things that we needed. You can make this as expensive or as inexpensive as you like. The one place that I wouldn't skimp is on these mixes. They are quality. I was able to find these at my local Publix. Mrs. Jones did send me some of this stuff, so keep that in mind because I am one of their baking babes and I wanna thank them for sending me these fun things. This month, they actually sent me some of their cake in a cup products and this is the confetti pop. They also sent me a vanilla one and a cookie in a cup. These things, you just add water and you pop it in the microwave and you can enjoy it right away. So I'm gonna give one of these to her in her little basket as well as a cake mix, a vanilla, frosting we went ahead and we got this at Publix as well bag of the sea salt chocolate chip cookie mix all these things she's gonna be able to with her mom's help of course she is homeschooled she's gonna be able to get all these things made with ease so I went ahead and I picked her up a cupcake pan a square cake pan in case she wants to make some brownies I got this really nice red bowl it's nice and deep easy to stir things in and then I just went, um, you know, we went a little hog wild. Uh, I got her some colorful measuring cups and spoons, some wooden spoons, and some other utensils that I think we all need in the kitchen. You can get these at the dollar store, super cheap. You can throw these um, this together really inexpensively. I did get some sprinkles and some non -parels. And then I had a company send me these a very long time ago. They sent me more than one set. But they're silicone cupcake liners. So I'm gonna pop these in here and also some paper cupcake liners. I buy these in bulk off of Amazon. I buy them 500 at a time. So those are just really easy to pop in there. The first thing we're gonna start off is I'm gonna add some of this shred to this bowl because when you're building a gift basket, you wanna make sure that you have a base. And this is gonna help us to keep everything in its place. Just get that in there. Now I bought all the wrapping stuff that you're gonna see me use, I purchased after Christmas. When you're building a gift basket, you need to figure out how you wanna present it. I'm gonna put, just like you see here, I have the cupcake pan, the square cake pan, and the bowl all stacked together. And then we're gonna wrap these up just like this. And that's gonna make it really stable. Now the way you wanna do this is you wanna put all of your largest things in the whatever vessel you're using, whether it's a box or a basket or what have you, you wanna put them, the largest things in the back so that we can kind of build around them. And they're gonna be anchor pieces. So just like that, and we'll just keep building. And this is also gonna help to stabilize everything. And now we just kinda go in and we're gonna kind of fill in where we can. And I'm gonna just kind of stick these um, in here like that. And then you can just start arranging it. Now I used to be a florist as well, so you have to keep that in mind. You don't have to be perfect, and there are gonna be times here where you want things to be working in a certain spot and they're not going to want to do what you want them to do, but you're just gonna have to arrange it so that it will work the way you want it to. These utensils and stuff, we can sort of put toward the back and make them fan out so that they make a lovely little arrangement. 
I mean, look how cute that yeah. is already. See, like these little wood, these little measuring spoons, they don't want to fit over there right now. So we're not going to make them fit over there. You have a couple of ways you can deal with this. Now you can put this in a big gift bag and just give it as is with some tissue paper. I'm going to wrap this in cellophane. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this out off camera and I'll come back when I get ready to kind of wrap it all up. All right, I got this wrapped in cellophane because I don't really have a big enough spot to show you how to do it today. But if you want to see how to wrap a large gift like this in cellophane, just let me know and I'll put it on the list for a holidays are coming video because it really is awesome to know how to do this with just cellophane. Basically, you have to take and estimate the height of your gift and quadruple it. And then you have to roll out the cellophane twice and then you have to make an X with it. Put it like a, a plus sign down on your table. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the one that's running long ways in front of you is on the top and the one that's running the opposite way up and down is on the bottom because the one that's on the bottom is the one that's gonna come up over in the front. And that's the one that is going to give you the most coverage. Now, you're gonna to wanna to pull and then you're gonna to wanna to grab it into a bunch at the top and you're gonna to wanna to tie it or use a pipe cleaner or a chenille stem, that's what they're calling them now, um, that you get from the craft store. And you can just arrange it until it's nice and pretty, right? So it doesn't matter if it tears a little bit, nobody is gonna notice and nobody is gonna care. But I'm what- a five -year -old. Especially a five year old. Well, what you wanna do now is you've got these little pockets that are flaring out on the side. So you wanna just kind of um, tuck these in and think about how you wrap a package and just take a little piece of scotch tape on both sides, just like that. Sometimes you're gonna have to use more than one piece of tape, but don't worry about it. It's just kind of there to tuck everything in place. Now, at this point, you can leave it as is, but do you think I'm gonna? Probably not. I'm gonna make a nice little bow out of this awesome ribbon that I picked up after Christmas. Um, it's very wide. I'm just gonna do a shoestring bow with it. Just kind of, depending on the thickness, you're gonna wanna bunch it up in your hand so it's a little more easy to work with. Just tie a shoestring bow and then you can fuss with your bow. You can fishtail your ends. I always do that too. You wanna cut from the outside in, fishtail your bow, you're done. So that's how you make a really cute little baking gift basket using Mrs. Jones products. You don't have to use their products. You can use any old kind of cake mix that you want. You can do whatever you want. It's up to you completely. So I hope this, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you put this to task and put it to use. And the next time you have someone in your life who has an occasion that's gift giving worthy, maybe you want to throw one of these together or Think about what they love to do the most and put a little gift together like this. It's super easy, it's very affordable. You can put it at any price point that you want and they're gonna love it no matter what. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. If you're old here, I'm so glad you're still here. Hit that bell notification button. We don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes, and other fun stuff that we do here on our channel all the time, right here from our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a gift basket. And until next time, I'll see ya. And until next time, I'll see ya.